All right, hello, hello, Aquariuses. Aquarius, this is your third monthly message for August. Uh, check the description box there. It's where I link in uh, part one and part two. Potentially, the rate we're at, we're going to have a part four for you. <laughs> Bonus reading. Yay! <laughs> and this one, I saw 202, so that could be your birthday. 203, those seem spotlighted. Also, 33 and 234. So, going right in flow. Um, also, some Leo a little bit. That's your opposite right. I saw 83. Also, someone can be 83 or born in 83. I also saw 90. So these could be ages or birth years. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, guys. And also keep in mind, I open up my monthly readings for rising sun and moon sign Aquariuses. So I have all these different characters in play. And uh, that's also how you get clarification and guidance. And uh, <clears throat> wow. So tarot is done. I will be pulling some more tarot. I'm cleansing this space. Uh, in between your reading, so like I was saying, some fi a lot of fire sign energy kind of coming back in. Um, I didn't really see any Leo, I mean, but there was Sagittarian and Aries potentially. You could have that in your chart, right? Um, I'm cleansing this space. And some about the green apples, green apples, maybe eating green apples. I had one. Uh, Granny Smith apple and the whole, the apple doesn't far, fall far from the tree. Um leo <laughs> cancer sign potentially um hmm, there was a lot of that cancerian also maybe little pisces or 33 someone could be 33 all right so when i do light this for you guys it doesn't stay lit like the flame goes out quickly or there's not lots of there's not lots of smoke um i also there's something potentially about your neighbor or someone who lives close to you and their grandkids kind of destroying, breaking some of your property. Um, and not saying a damn word about it. So, yeah, that's always lovely, isn't it? And if that, maybe that has nothing to do with you. You guys had a lot of Libra energy, too. Um, anyways, I'm going to finish up with some tarot. And we'll see how far we can get before I get into the oracle messages. Like I was saying, there most likely will be another uh, fourth video for maybe the oracles. Um, wow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had nine different characters in play. <clears throat> it could be you or someone you're dealing with, right? Um, let me take a little sip of water before we jump into this. Okay. Also, I was trying to see, I didn't really see many birds. There's a lot of dogs. Uh, and then some, maybe someone has an apple tree, actually, but I got, like, the green apples or the Granny Smith apples. Is it, like, harvest season? Maybe the end of the month? I don't know. So, uh, the Antique Anatomy Tarot also pulled in a lot of the Cancerian energy. We had some crazy stuff, okay? You had the clergy, which is the churchy people. You had the animal shaman, the dancer, the architect, the waiter or waitress, the king, and the driver. And so, as I flow these through... Uh, it helps give clarification uh, to know, you know, who's on the up and up and who's on the down low doing some bullshit. And I think that's why we all look at these things even, right? So the careerist is just a weird thing. They're just focused on their career, right? Um, yeah. I'm wanting to be single, stable, financially stable on their own. Maybe even uh, they could be a driver, literally, or own a driving company or a car salesman even. I don't know. Um, but about maybe they're a cancer sign or Libra. Um, trying to get out of feeling pushed away. Then we have the animal shaman. There was someone sneaking, spying, looking in, um, trying to gain information. So there's this new passion, even deciding whether it's about passion or truth. There was something still missing to get clarity on that. Right, the dancer, there was a lot of bad stuff there. I'm sorry, but there was. There is some someone not trusting their intuition or acting really spiritual. There was lying and cheating, stealing. Oh, uh, the devil was there too. Oh boy, yeah, obsession, toxic stuff, okay? Uh, you have the soldier as well. The soldier was in a reverse. And what I really see now is this Ace of Cups came through. I'm kind of giving a little reiteration before I jump into the rest of the tarot. It could be for a whole different uh, set of Aquariuses. Keep that in mind. Um, check your rising sign, moon sign too. 
<coughs> excuse me, <coughs> someone's very heartbroken about something. It could be that you find out there's something about a soldier. Oh, I heard there's a draft, potentially. Uh, a little bird told me, Gemini energy too. I haven't pulled in much Gemini for this, but there definitely was Gemini. You had a lot of uh, earth sign energy too, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, vice versa. The feminines look like they're really greedy and the masculines up on the up and up, right? Um, anyways, let's finish up here. <coughs> so there could be some Cancerian energy, right? Piscean. I haven't seen much Scorpio and maybe it's more in the middle, right? Okay, I'm gonna just finish up this last bit of the antique tarot anatomy. I'm trying to see someone uh, someone having some understanding. You have the Queen of Cups underneath there. So you could hold this energy or you could be dealing with a feminine water energy or being a feminine who's very mothering, very loving, understanding, empathetic. She's not emotionally manipulating. There could be Aries, Gemini, and Cancer sign uh, with that person. I'm going to flow it through. I feel like, so with the driver, so someone who is the driver, right? You had the moon energy there, right? Uh, the lovers in reverse, temperance in reverse. Someone not having the strength to do this, feeling a little stuck or trapped. Maybe they literally get stuck in their car or something like this. Or their car breaks down or they drive one of those like electric cars and it breaks down. Uh, there was maybe a little Capricorn with that too. Gemini, Cancer, Piscean. That's what I got. Um, I'm going to set that there. Someone who's understanding. Right. Um, I feel like is this careerist. Okay. So I was, I flow it over to here to this careerist person. Okay. There was a, a heavy burden trying to do all this on your own, driving around. Maybe it has to do with a vehicle or trip. Um, right? And seeing that they're trying to emotionally detach or walk away. You or them, right? Um, and be financially stable on your own, single potentially. Someone's not getting what they were hoping for. And I feel like it, it was the, a job or a bonus because a gift or something like that. Because I see the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So it could also be a Capricorn, a Taurus person, Virgo, Libra, whatever. Cancer sign, 5-1. They could be 51, five, one twice. Yeah. So they could be 51 or it could be five, one specifically, right? There's also one, one. They got a lot of Capricorn. Interesting. So they're not getting a gift they were hoping for a job, a car, a bonus. Okay. This careerist is, so if you're feeling that way, if, if this is you, you know, uh, we'll see. Uh, it's like someone's doing a whole bunch of work and still not getting like that extra coin to get that 10 of pentacles but there is a lot of finances there um extra there's savings so there's a lot of work that's been done but your animal shaman someone does not feel victorious Ooh, ooh. someone doesn't have this full clarity someone has been looking and trying to get clarity you have king of swords there in reverse so it could be aries oh, why i say aries uh, could be another Aquarius, could be, uh, or it could be you, uh, Gemini, Libra energy, right? And someone not being completely upfront uh, about something because they're trying to stop a tower from coming in and going and moving on. They're trying to move on. You or them, right? Um, and get out of being stuck in your head. I feel like there could have been some really cutting words that were not true, slander, gossip. Someone didn't have all the information and they're not being honest. Maybe there is just focus on what makes the passion, okay? So with this, I don't see hearts. I don't see true communication. I see uh, lust potentially, okay? And someone feels very unvictorious trying to gain this clarity. They could be in having an ego death. They're not going to win. Um, yeah, because you got the six of wands. One, six, six, one. So maybe Gemini or Capricorn. Unvictorious. Because they don't receive something. And these could all be interlinked, right? And I can be telling the whole fucking story. Excuse my language. Over here with this dancer. Uh, wow. Five of swords in reverse. So 
I feel like someone is really trying to get out from feeling stuck in their head because there could have been some gaslighting because there is deception and lies. Uh, the high priestess in reverse. So someone could have been sharing someone else's personal information that was actually false or even pretending very spiritual, very guided by God saying they are. Um, wow. But she's they're talking to this king. Both these people in reverse right here. This king of wands in reverse too. I, I see a lot of it being Aries in particular down this row with this soldier. You're going to have Aries in your chart or dealing with them. Um, I also saw, like I said, temperance and strength showed in reverse. So to, regardless, someone is not having the strength or unbalanced in their thinking. This can be very lustful or very rude and cruel. And I feel like they might be, this person might be chatting with this other person, the dancer. Okay, Five of Swords in Reverse is also trying to no longer feel stuck in your head because of what people say or do because there's deception in this energy and you have the devil here too. So there could also be Capricorn or Pisces, even though this is Cancerian potentially. Um, hmm. Someone is holding on to someone's money. Uh, they're holding on to like even a child's money. They're stopping them from moving forward. Someone's trying to control with fear yeah so they could be like one of these churchy people that's like you're gonna go to hell if you do this or oh doing this or they're watching some type of dancer that's a child and it's kind of gross uh two five in particular okay aquarius is this could be coming through you're maybe receiving this information from a past on loved one a brother could be doing this a brother could be watching a dancer so uh, this could be a male dancer okay the dancing queen by the soldier i got someone waiting patiently for the right timing there's something on its way you have three three there even so maybe even pisces someone could be 33 um <clears throat> the rods someone so there is a package or something on its way there is someone heartbroken over some things that they found out right about losing a soulmate or you may be receiving something from a soldier or you could be the soldier right three of wands waiting patiently there's also a taurus coming through with this five three so they could be a taurus masculine being very um lustful or very mean also aries okay and and with this ace of cups uh, so keep in mind this is a one cup so it's a revigor reinvigorating love, reinvigorating your own self-love, filling your own cup up and not needing another person to give you um, props. Does that make sense? Like telling you how great you are all the time. Hmm. Wow. So it's interesting because I do see, I like seeing the five of swords and the five of wands in reverse because this was a time of feeling like you got to compete or fight with this person. And you also had the emperor in reverse during and the clergy member. You also have the queen of swords in reverse. So the lying, cutting, deceptive, very uh, mean, judgmental. The emperor falling from grace. And you're going to see it clearly because someone was looking at someone as an option. And they felt like they were competing with somebody. It was competition in this clergy. Yeah, look at all the drama and all this. <laughs> this churchy shit, okay? I'm seeing someone no longer... There could have been actual physical. They could have gotten physical because Emperor in Reverse is actually kind of a narcissist that wants to control and dominate. Um, <clears throat> and you're going to see it clear. The clergy. No longer fighting with this person. They could be a cancer sign, masculine, and Aries. Even though you've got the Queen of Swords there. I also see 3-5. 35, someone could be 35 or it could be a Pisces. Cancer sign. Unwilling to fight with this person, no longer competing. And getting clarity uh, on this. So the architect, everything looks so good with the architect, man. Uh, I have to say that. Getting out of any sort of regret or depression and really focused on what you're building, what you're doing. And then there's a celebration. There could even be a reunion or a, uh, a reconciliation with someone. Uh, I have the hanged man in reverse now. So this could be dealing with Virgo. 
uh, it doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing like uh, maybe there was some regrets or apathy. Maybe you're reconciling with a Virgo person, but I'm seeing this person being let go of. Maybe there was someone in your energy that um, was keeping you stuck. Maybe seeing someone seeing the different perspective now because Hangman in reverse is being released and let go of. This is also 4 411. No, 412. So it could be an Aries person too. Um, over here with this waiter or waitress person with the queen of coins in reverse. They could be just somebody who maybe they were, they, they do this or you see this if you're out there. They're very greedy. They don't like to give any tips. Uh, hmm. And they've broken a law. There's a little bit of Taurus with this person. It's energy. Um, they're really focused on themselves and they feel in a lack mentality. There could be some emotional manipulation or if they do apologize for breaking a commitment or a vow, you could have, there could be a divorce or going to, you know what I mean? Or, or you could have been married to this person at one point and, um, they're kind of unapologetic. And even if they do apologize, it comes off very, uh, not real, <clears throat> but there is children with this person or this waiter waitress could be your child or this could be you um i also see this is something about your home yeah these you had the ten of cups there too so there's a lot about family <laughs> uh, so there is a lot of love and support regarding this okay this issue with this person this is i'm seeing building a home focused on your home maybe you do this in your home this is about your home yeah because you got the four of wands Wow. Hmm. Um, now, no way. We have judgment in reverse with this king here. Interesting. So I'm seeing someone doing a final judgment call regarding something. So at one point, you have this, this king. If you're this king energy, you have the king of pentacles there. Uh, you have the communication no longer defending. Also unblocking this person's communication. And uh, they're kind of wanting to, they're in a good energy of really wanting to be a benevolent leader. They, this is someone you've known for a long time from your, from your childhood, or there's good nostalgia with this person. Um, but I am seeing someone make a final judgment call. I also see 420, huh? And 620. Okay, so is that kind of a Gemini, Aries, Taurus energy, something like that? Um, <clears throat> this is saying no second chance. This person didn't have a wake up call. Queen of Wands in reverse. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. So you also had Temperance in reverse as the driver. <laughs> Even though there's Queen of Cups there. So this also showed me that someone did not have the strength. They were not feeling strong. Maybe they they communicate that they don't they can't hold themselves back from you, or that they're not feeling strong enough to do this. I feel like this is dealing with a Leo person because you have Queen of Rods in reverse, which means uh, making a final judgment call on this Queen of Rods. That so she's in reverse, which shows either she's not thinking clearly, she's overindulging, overdoing it. Her her brain. She's just weak. Um, she could be very lustful or very angry, okay, about something. Like maybe there's road rage. She can't drive or something. Like, because you have the driver there. Someone makes this final judgment call. I, I see it as the, maybe someone is even found guilty uh, and they go to jail or they're not having this awakening. They don't wake up. Oh, man. I'm moving some of this stuff out of the way to give uh, space, give them the space. So queen of rods in reverse and temperance in reverse. So very much Sagittarian, but this Pisces cancer energy, a feminine, there's two different feminines here. Hmm, a, be a beautiful person and another one who is really wanting attention. Queen of, yeah, justice in reverse too. They could also have Libra in their chart, but they think things are not fair. Okay, there could be Libra as I pull over here. Oh, so there could have been legal issues with this careerist person. It's a heavy burden dealing with them. Um, they're not getting what they were hoping for. Yeah, even if there is legal stuff, uh, they're not getting the bonus. They're not getting the money, the job, the gift. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> they don't feel that's fair. Hmm, they don't get it. Someone is trying really hard. They could be Capricorn too, 111, 51, or Taurus energy even. Um, <clears throat> by the animal shaman. Oh, damn, we got the king of cups in reverse. So, this could be the person that feels unvictorious. Uh, they feel like they're not, you know, they're not winning. They're not a winner in this. Um, they could be heavy drinking, uh, playing a victim, emotional manipulation. So, king of cups in reverse. Oh, king of the elixirs. <sighs> yeah. Okay. 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 This is the person who's not, and, and they're pissed. They're sad. Um, they kind of feel like a loser. Maybe you don't know the truth about this. They don't have, you don't have clarity on this. And maybe that's what you've been seeking for, looking. Animal shaman. Could be scorpionic. Pisces cancer. I'm not pulling a lot of Scorpio so far. You did have the tower in there. So potentially it's in their chart. Or you're dealing with them. Okay. So when we've got the dancer and there was lying and stuff. Someone, okay. I am going to find out a little bit more. What It's just cheating. Like lying, not being up front. There could be tr someone trying to steal uh, someone's money, a child's money. So if you have someone, you know what I mean? Where like, imagine a parent <clears throat> who is trying to make money off of their children. And uh, literally, you know what I mean? Stealing from their child or holding their money. Control. They want to control. So you also have Capricorn energy doesn't have to be but there's obsession domineering and you got high priestess in reverse so also being very uh toxic acting very spiritual this is one of those religious people like i'm saying pisces capricorn so as i move forward someone is trying to create something manifest wealth you know um I'm seeing being able to get out of feeling stuck in your head. This is even like poking fun at you, gaslighting, lying, vindictive behavior. Magician upright shows, um, you know, trying to create something. Whatever it is you're trying to manifest or create, answer. Okay, I'm going to kind of push these ones up. <clears throat> All right, in the middle, we got the soldier. Someone is waiting for a gift to come in, right? Uh, maybe this is, this is about waiting for money. There's a package coming. No longer juggling. Waiting for this person to stop juggling. It's on its way. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we have death in reverse with this clergy member. Ooh, so there could be some Scorpio with this one. I was getting some other names. I don't know if I want to throw them all out there. Any other videos, I did a lot of names. Uh... I'm going to move the camera. Hmm. 2311. 2, 3. Uh, let's see. 10, 11, 12, 13. I see 513. So, wow. 213, Aquarius. Uh, 7, 5, 7, 13. So, someone has not changed. Um, I feel like... This could even be someone wishing death upon someone or saying that they are ill, they are sick, um, or that they've been healed by the Lord. This could be one of those uh, churchy things that say that they have this, uh, they think they're healers. Like, if you pay money, and we'll do a blessing for you type thing. It reminds me of like, what was his name? These are like the snake dealer. I don't know. Uh, was it? It's Benny. Oh, Benny Hinn. Him. Or even just saying like. Uh, it's not a deliverance ministry. It's something else. But regardless. This is about the church. And there is a lot of deception. Uh, the emperor falling from grace. Maybe he was. Uh, looking at options. Um. And, he, and people are finding out that he was not loyal. Um, he could be even drinking, drugging, trying to fight, uh, thinking someone is competition. Death is in reverse, so this person has not changed. Or they did not die. 
or it could be a Scorpio, Taurus. That's what I kind of got. I'm going to, I want to leave it a little bit so I can see as I go. Now, as I move forward, ooh, even with the architect, I'm seeing there is something with the timing is off. Uh, with this hangman in reverse, someone being released or let go, it could be letting go of someone from work. Um, because they could be causing some type of depression or sadness. It's like no regrets anymore. They they could have felt bored with their job or something like that. Uh, and I am seeing that this is a karmic thing with this person. And potentially they have bad karma. They're losing. Hmm. They feel like they got away with something though. But karma will catch up with them. Because we also have divine timing in reverse. And the sun in reverse. So yeah, some unhappiness. This could be dealing with a Leo uh, during this time. Or that they're just very unhappy. Because they're on a down cycle. They have lost. They maybe have lost a lot. This is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is a huge loss. Like what goes around comes around. Uh, you reap what you sow. And there was something there with that. Someone wasn't doing the work. Okay, over here with this waiter, it could be a Leo. Uh, or it could be a son. But there's unhappiness in your home. Or dealing, there is a lot of love, though. I have to say that a lot of love and support. There could have been some time someone broke a vow or a commitment in a in a home in a marriage. Um, they're greedy, they're unapologetic, kind of manipulative, but their their sadness or anger, they're unhappy about your home. Uh, I also see. 419 and 420 so definitely in that area of Aries Taurus uh, Leo potentially and they could just be a child even but they're very unhappy about these things there's unhappiness in your home maybe about someone this king maybe about you unblocking someone uh, this king is no longer blocked from taking action and communicating maybe it's, there was like a, a wall or something right the wall is down uh, there's some good, really good nostalgia, good memories, um, but it also helps you make a final decision, a judgment call. Judgment could be coming down where someone didn't have this awakening, like didn't wake up or something, or they went to jail. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they're found guilty, and that helps you. This is the final. That It's like someone else getting removed from your life helps give you clarity on what to do. 120, 220. 219. I also see 1019, 1013, 213. Yeah. One, two. All right. With this driver and this Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. You could have children with this person. They could be, uh, someone could be just barely practicing learning how to drive, and someone else is very mean. That could be road rage. Someone needing a child to drive them. <laughs> Because I, you also have the rod, so a lot of fire energy over here. Aries, Sag, Leo, but you had temperance in reverse, so, and Leo. I'm going to call it that, okay? Uh, someone was trying to do something in the unknown. Maybe they did it in the darkness or um, at the full moon, okay? <clears throat> I'm seeing someone practicing something or actually imitating lustful things imitating oh that's a whole apple doesn't fall far from the tree so some of these people are literally so if they're 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 imitating women who are lustful um yeah they're they're like being coming just like their mom if their mom is kind of hoey yeah and slutty i don't know that's what i see <laughs> This is practicing something. They're imitating. They're learning how to be this way. <laughs> wow. All right. Over here with this careerist. Once again, this is someone who wants to do it all on their own. And they're unwilling to work with others. And maybe they feel like something isn't fair. Hmm. I see 11-3. So maybe some Scorpio or 3-11. 10-11. This is not being able to work with this person or collaborate. Maybe someone was hoping to get the job. 
and it's realizing, no, I can't work with this person or something like that. Over here with the animal shaman, we also have the world card coming in. So this person could be really sad because um, you're having some, a brand new world. Um, this is a new chapter in life. And they feel very unvictorious because they're not going to be part of it. They could be emotionally manipulating, heavy drinking, drugging. They could be Pisces. Uh, 321 or Aries cusp because I've also got the 21st. All right. Where we have magician, 121. Okay. Yeah. Holy shit. Where you have the seven of swords and ten of swords. Oh, my gosh. And someone in the high priestess in reverse talking shit, giving the bad information. Uh, they're betraying, someone has betrayed somebody. Um, but it's over because we have, this is the completion of it. There is lies, cheating, backstabbing, betrayal. Someone may have even been trying to create this ending by their gossipy bullshit and lies. Okay. 110, 10-1, 10 <clears throat> 10-21, 10-2. So Ten of Swords in Reverse, though, does show that it's over. Um, it's over, right? All right. With the Soldier, I have the Knight of Coins there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So being very patient, uh, needing to be very, very patient. It's coming. So there is a sense of waiting for something to arrive, to receive something. Someone is bringing it to you. Maybe it's snail mail. I don't know, but whatever it is, this it's taking a long time. Oh my gosh, emperor and empress. I told you, in this clergy member, you have the boss lady and the boss man, both in the wrong. They could be the matriarch and the patriarch, the, the head of this clergy. See, people start religions, you know what I mean? The people who are in charge of it things haven't changed with them they didn't they and they could be scorpio with that like i said 213 patience with this soldier empress in reverse wow and hermit so they could be virgo too or scorpio uh the architect has a lot of this virgo energy actually which is really interesting i also see the piscean so 313 310, 3, 10, 9, 10, 9, 13, 9, 19, 9, 2. Okay, those are, those are the final messages of this. This empress has lost her shit. She's not handling things. She's not taking care of family. She's not taking care of the business. Um, both emperor and empress in this center. This is a, this is the mother and the father, the grandfather. They're, they're the main people uh, that should be. And this is very much in the center between these two. This church. It's like they have abandoned their post. They have abandoned their family. And their new family is just church. Uh, they treat the people at church better than they do their own uh, biological family or it is the the people in charge of the church that are being caught um still i don't see stealing but i'm seeing gossiping lying trying to get other people to give them money and making f promises of shit in heaven okay okay death in reverse they haven't changed they're the same and then the final card is Someone is going into hermit mode to get this enlightenment. So this, the karmic things, so oftentimes that's what happens. Um, they have to go in and get enlightenment, like detach yourself from, from others to gain this sense of uh, enlightenment. I also see 10, 11, no, 10, 9, 3, 9. So it could be Pisces as well as Virgo to 910, 919. Um, so gaining this clarity is kind of detaching from others, right? This person takes off because they need to detach from others. 
to see a different perspective of why things are going bad in their life, why uh, they have this karmic, they'll, they'll realize it's their own fucking fault. They made poor choices in their life and uh, yeah, that's what I got. All right, let's move on. So those are the main things going on. Okay, Aquariuses, that's what I got for your August messages. <laughs> fun, 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 fun. All right, 35 minutes in. Let's jump into the uh, Le Jeu de Tarot, okay? Um, I'm pulling in some Taurus Scorpio messages with this. So uh, sometimes there's a lot of Taurus in the center with this. Also Scorpio, like I was saying. Uh, what else? I want to. This clergy seems to be in the middle of all of it, right? Guardians of the faith, religion, morality, compassion, and a sacred mission. There's a huge bunch of group of people, right? Um, you're amazing. Own it. Sometimes there's a lot of uh, love bombing, right? They want to be perceived as so kind and generous and loving but then they put demands upon others um yeah all of this you had the queen of swords in reverse empress in reverse so it could be also another aquarius libra gemini i also see taurus uh, scorpio <clears throat> let's see someone was looking at their options the the masculine the husband uh, husband and wife um you may kiss the bride. Maybe you're doing like there was a marriage or something there. And they're all, it's all focused on land, property, legacy. They're actually trying to get, they have so much money. Um, and they're unwilling to like, <sighs> there's deception with them telling you that if you donate to their stuff, I bring up, you can look at a lot of different <sighs> Christian ministries and uh, things like that. And it's, see, there's so many. The word Christian uh, is like, it's an umbrella term for a whole bunch of other things. And a lot of times it is about, they, need, they want your service and your money and your undivided attention. You work for them. They're not, so both of these people are very narcissistic and thinking they are better than others, highly uh, egotistical, uh, and trying to control everyone. So I'm surprised the devil didn't show up there, but you got both emperor and empress in reverse. All right, I'm gonna put this little, let's see what's underneath. Let's actually, I'm gonna split it in the middle and see. Yeah, someone is, so these are a little more challenging for me to read. This is about being open and releasing and letting go. So they want donations. They want you to give to them. And they're going to use scriptures to guilt you into it. God loves a generous giver. And, and I promise you all of these rewards in heaven when you give to our charity or to our congregation, to our ministry. Or it's required by law by God because they can go to Old Testament and then say the same thing. Well, you're required to pay your 10% tithing. Oh, if you want to be, if you want to go to heaven, you got to pay the way. Okay. If you want to be generous and kind and giving to people, go find those people and give it to them. That's the way I always say. The politics do the same thing. I'm sorry, but I hate when I, I apologize. <laughs> I hate when I apologize for how I truly feel. So all of these stupid fucking Kamala Harris uh, asking me for my money telling me and demanding my money and then you get the church people doing it too i'm sorry kamala but can we what happened to the 239 million dollars that you gave that biden gave to afghanistan uh you already get my money you are a civil servant and you work for the people and they forget their role right i'm not giving you any money and because you've been so damn annoying i'm just gonna make sure Regardless, I want to vote against you. And I probably wasn't even going to go out and vote, but now I am just to make sure. I'm not a huge, and I don't really care. I'm going to go against, I'm going to, I'm going to vote for your opponent because you have been, you've showed how, and she's a Libra. Right? Right? Yeah. 
<clears throat> Anyways, that's what's in the middle of it. That's what's in the, it's all about the fucking money. No way, more about the money. Wanting you to invest in their church, wanting your money, your finances. I was even talking about this where I literally know that this is true and they will send it so you get all these elderly people who go to church, right? Because the closer, let me just tell you, the closer you are to death, the more you feel like you need to get right with God, okay? Okay, and make sure you go to heaven and stuff like that. Um, and they will tell them that they will, uh, literally I've seen it and I was disgusted. And I stopped going because I couldn't handle any more about asking for money, constantly asking for money. And a lot of these churches, it, it's their career, right? It's a business, okay? Um, <laughs> asking for you, putting in the letter saying, they will even help pay for your legal stuff to have your will changed so that you send, you give your, uh, your life insurance or anything left over to the church. So what are they doing? They're stealing from their downline. Um, and in the Bible, what does it say? The wise man, wise mo woman, it never says a woman is wise, does it? No. The wise man saves for his grandchildren. So when we see ten of pentacles, which they already have ten of pentacles, they already have tons of money, okay? It's never enough, right? Like the Mormon church, they're freaking almost trillionaires, okay? They're definitely billionaires. Uh, or, or in all of their stocks and savings and bonds and all that stuff. Um, so I'm saying this because they're asking for you to take your money out of savings and everything you've worked for and then give it to them. Seven, four, four, seven, 11, 11. Hmm. And that's what I see. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Someone isn't speaking up. <clears throat> or they really don't want me talking about this. Now, do they? Revealing the truth about what really goes on in almost every single one of these ministries. Every single one. They want your money. <laughs> and they promise things that can never be delivered uh, or be proof. And how can you say, I promise you that in the afterlife, you will have a special place in heaven right next to God. Um, you can't guarantee that. That's a fucking, that's like, there's, there's no proof. There's no proof. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> you're amazing. Own it. And that's what the little thing keeps telling me. Is telling me. Um, I'm going to shuffle these. No way. I, I open it up again to where I split it. So once again, this is about, it is good to not hoard money, right? But it, you need to be wise. If you need to be saving, put yourself on a budget, then do that. But if you're hoarding it and you're greedy, that's a whole different level. So opening up the flow for your finances, being generous and giving, it does come back to you, right? And so even sometimes if you do that, it sometimes it will come back around, but it has nothing to do. I just find it like it, it actually really ruins the emotion and the feeling you get when you actually help someone that is in need, you know? Just like, so I'm gonna bring up the Bible because we got clergy here, okay? Um, so there's the story of the rich man and the beggar, Lazarus, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then Jesus says, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to make his way into heaven. So these are different scriptures they're going to use to make you feel like, oh, but in that, it was because he had a beggar next to his gate that, um, that needed help and he was just he wouldn't even give his scraps of food to this person that's greed and that's uncaring okay if when you go out and actually help someone 
or you help someone financially that's in a burden and, and sometimes it's so much better when it's actually a stranger because they remember it other people in your life or your family and things like that they feel like they're entitled to it anyway so i'm seeing that as important right opening up the flow uh spend some money it's also important for our our economy right but i'm not going to be giving my money to uh any political or religious avenues let me tell you that because uh, they're thieves all of them the church people and the politics are so interlinked and you wouldn't even believe it it's always says uh you know uh removing uh religion and politics and those are the two avenues if you communicate with these things about anybody you will fight and argue right don't ever talk about politics and don't ever talk about religion uh because that's where you're gonna find views that uh create a sense of irritation and things like that <clears throat> So people hate when I talk about that. <laughs> They're like, how's the weather? What are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. So someone is at this crossroad, 7-2 or 27-2-7. Um, having someone started taking action towards something. And there is this, this uh, crossroads. This crossroads is always an opportunity to go a different direction. Or, you know, think of it when you get to, uh, if you're driving a car and you get to a crossroads, well, you can go right or left or straight. Are you gonna keep going straight? Or are you gonna, or you can even turn around. You always have a choice and you can always change your mind and go a different direction. Um, especially regarding your finances. Maybe someone was taking some money out of their savings or about their work, seven, two. I'm gonna shuffle it again. Okay, see, these things get me heated because it pisses me off when people take advantage of others. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More than anything. Uh, yeah, and if you think that God's gonna give you a special place in heaven because you gave it to a ministry or a church instead of your family or uh, someone in your neighborhood who could use the help, yeah, then, uh, you're doing it for the wrong reason. Anyway, it's a selfish reason. They're actually trying to save themselves and they don't give a fuck about anyone else. And it's disgusting. All right. Man, those are the things that get me so heated. There's so many things, right? But there is a sense of righteous anger, a righteous justice, right? The same thing with manipulating and using children. Innocent people. And I've always been this, like, I want to stand up for those who seem to not know or are being taken advantage of. Even when it's not my fight, it's more than anything. I want them to know that I see through that and they do have support. They're not alone. Uh, even if it seems like their whole family or other things, they feel trapped and stuck in a situation. There is people who are good, who are kind. And who truly do have good hearts. Deciphering who, that's another story, right? <clears throat> All right, let's see. Finishing up this tarot for the Aquarius for August. All right, so what about this this uh, careerist? I'm going to just, I think with this one, I'm going to let some, I see five of wands. This person wanted to fight with you or compete with you. They see you as competition. Literally, they want to freaking fight. Uh, and this is why you realize you cannot work with them. They're all fiery. They uh, See, everyone is competing against someone. Uh, see, someone is competition. They could have gotten physical with you even at one point. And I always see the person who gets physical. And I see it in religious things, right? They want to go, you shamed my God. Oh, I'm going to beat you up now. Um, that's because you have lost the intellectual debate. As soon as you get physical, all it shows is you lost the truth and you, you get mad about it. Okay, I see 35, 35, so it could be that age. 5, 3, so Pisces. Uh, 53, 35 or 53 even. And those could just be ages. 
Also, 10-3. This person just wants to fight with you. Okay? They want to compete. They see you as a competition in their life. All right, Aquarius? All right. Animal shaman. No way. You get Libra. You get justice here. And the skills are balanced with this. So there is a whole new world. I also see 521. So maybe Gemini energy. 321. No way, 821. So on the 21st, maybe this comes through. Uh, there's also 83. No way, the Empress. Let's see, I need to see. This Empress looks like she is up right now. Thank you, Lord. 53 and 38. So I'm pulling a lot of the Pisces, Libra, Gemini. Wanting things to be fair. And so this new world, this new chapter in life, will show you everything will be fair and balanced. If you are the feminine or with a wife or a matriarch, this empress is boss lady and she is going to handle business and do what's right and what's fair and just. Uh, wow. So someone could be 38. They could be 83. Uh, they could be doing... Uh, so I'm seeing a lot of the 53s. We've been a little Taurus Libra. Okay. Gemini, maybe. I feel like 821 or 321 once again. Hmm. One, two, three. Hmm. So, even with this dancer person, okay, this mother, it could be vice versa. Those are the three that came out. Someone could be 53 and then a daughter or a dancer or whatever, a son... Uh, whoever could be 38, right? A, a 20 year difference. And they're actually still trying to hold on to someone's money and finances and control them. And they're a, an adult. Huh. 821 and 810. 10-21, 10-3. So there was some betrayal, right? And it's over. It's done. This new world, a whole new world, a new book, a new chapter in life at this. And it's going to be fair and just and balanced. If someone was trying to control or they were stealing, lying, thieving, it comes to light and everything is balanced out. 38. All right. With the soldier energy, once I see unblocking this person or no longer defending, um, or maybe you had have blocked this person, but someone is waiting patiently. Someone is coming in to bring something. Whoa, a lot of fire energy and communicate. See, I'm seeing unblocking this person. You may have, you may unblock this soldier person, or you could be the soldier no longer defending this person or no longer, no longer wanting to defend. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if it has come to light or not, but that they are putting a draft out for military. Huh, how come no one's talking about that? 87, 87, there's some, le no way, double eight, seven and 78. This could be ages, years of birth, Leo, a cancer sign potentially even. No longer unblocking this person, and then communication comes through. They come in to communicate about this. No longer defending and talking about that. All right, what else? Yeah, there was anxiety and fear, sleepless nights about this stuff. And finally being able to rest easy. It's like, oh my gosh, it's almost like that there was this... Um, That someone needed really needed to get this off their chest. They really needed to communicate with you. 97 or 79. And once they can do this, there's no longer sleepless nights. Maybe someone at one point has insomnia, um, nightmares even, or um, anxiety about this. And just saying no. I mean, the soldier's in reverse, right? So, ooh. The, the high priestess is up right now. I like it. 2-9. 
someone intuitively knows this. Maybe someone who's working night shift or they have to sleep during the day because they're up all night. Sleep all day, two nine. Someone could also be 42 or 29. Yeah, now I'm seeing someone finally holding back, saving their money, no longer giving to this cause, this cause, the jack, a page, a child even. No longer wanting to be giving, no longer wanting to do that. I'm seeing someone practicing what they want to say. Uh, uh, there could be a child there. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have from the catacombs in Paris? The tarot from the catacombs. All right. All right. Let me give it a good shuffle and see what comes out for the Aquariuses and the soldier and the clergy. This one actually went by the architect. I see the lovers there. Ooh, you have some Gemini energy because, um, and someone going in hermit mode to get this clarification. So it could be dealing with, um, no way, double Gemini. You have 61, 6 1 could be the sign. Also, 6 9. 9 1. Virgo. That went by the architect. So I'm going to keep it there. Oh, okay. Now let me double check and look at this. Someone shining light on this lover person. That someone cannot let go of. I'm also seeing someone cannot let go of the emotions. They're holding on tight. They're, there's a lot of love and emotion. They cannot emotionally walk away. And they've been trying to like manifest you into their life. Or you are. Um, hmm. It doesn't have to be a Gemini, but I do see that. I also see 6, 8, 8, 1, 81. It could be... One eight eight six. A lot of eight six and six eight. Wow. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna slow it through for all. No, I went by the architect. I gotta do that. Someone getting clarification and guidance about this. There was good shit going on. Someone wants a reconciliation. So whoever you architect person, or the architect wants a reconciliation. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just leaving it with that. Because it fell by the architect. Maybe four spirit cards will give more clarification. Someone wants, so I feel like someone's detached from listening to what other people want, what other people think, what other people say, because you also had a celebration, a party, a reunion. And I see shining the light on this. Someone might be more in their ego, but I'm seeing them not be able to let go of the emotions. And that they, they really want to do what they need to do to cre manifest you into their life. You or them. That's what I'm leaving. I'm leaving that one there. That's by the architect, okay? I'm going to go by the soldier. Okay, the soldier's getting a new job or a bonus. The soldier's getting a gift. No longer defending. Oh, I feel like someone could be blocking, actually. Someone blocks someone at nighttime. Or someone who is causing a lot of fear and anxiety. Could be a Capricorn. One seven seven nine nine seven Virgo, Cancer. Those could be ages even. 17. Maybe someone you know since 17. Oh, young. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're coming in quickly with a loving offer. This is even very innocent. This could be even a child that, um, you know... Maybe your child was looking, you have a Piscean child. You could have a Piscean child. Someone that was a little confused, uh, a little, they just didn't know their innocence there. They were looking at their options potentially about a job or about a gift for you or something or a gift or a bonus. All right, let's see what else. All right, for this soldier energy, being patient for wait, waiting for whatever's coming in. Yeah, holding on to something. It's like, this is saving some money up. I'm seeing someone holding on. Holding on. Because you have the king of coin or this, this knight coming in. A lot of earth energy. Even 84, 48. So even the little Leo. Um, I'm just going to leave that there with the architect, okay? I want to find out about this clergy. Give me some information on the clergy. We got a king of wands there. So Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, what is this? 
Oh, I feel like they have regrets. They might be a little bored. They want to take action. As someone from your past, your childhood, there is some good nostalgia there. Yeah, maybe someone you've known from church even, or uh, there's also the high priestess there. Um, 619. The sun. There is Leo. So this could be a Leo. What's underneath here? Whoa, all the fire energy. Uh, this queen is in reverse though still. She, she talks a lot of talk. She could be angry or she's really flirtatious. Um, she's trying to gain his attention by flaunting her boobies or dirty talk. A, a Leo. <laughs> Uh, what is that? Ooh, three of cups in reverse. See, someone was, does not want a reunion with this person. This king of cups person is like no reconciliation. This is someone from your home. You could have lived with them. King of swords. Yeah, the home's in reverse. There could have been a loss of a home or you could be, they got to kicked you out or they're homeless trying to come in, gain attention. The homeless people going to the church. Someone just intuiting, intuitively knows there is something. See, they can be coming in to the church congregation and doing some flaunting and flirting, kind of wearing a little more promiscuous clothing, uh, maybe playing a victim, trying to gain attention and a pity party. <clears throat> and they actually are upside down in their home. Maybe they want you to help pay for their home or something like that you know pay their rent or they or they're homeless and they want a place to stay ah oh, they're getting kicked out of their home for some reason for some reason they can't understand why uh yeah that's one of those type of things they want to move in want to rent a room or they need you know they're gonna come in with emotional manipulation okay hmm all right that's some crazy stuff let's see what else we got what else we got so a little bit more information on this clergy members yeah there we go defend block these people yeah see i'm seeing someone was maybe being they're very defensive yeah because you had queen of swords in reverse too empress emperor in reverse king i think even king of wands so it says block these people block them i blocked them did you block them i'm gonna block them that's what you should do block them what else yeah it, they it, they want nothing but to burden you with all of their woes they're they're just gonna so even if you go to church let me just tell you if you go to church they want you to donate they want your service they want you to bring bring lunch bring dinner pay money do this they constantly have their so by blocking them and being done with them 1001 yeah they're they're going to tell you that they want you to volunteer and do it for free right i'm saying like if you block these people <clears throat> it it's takes this huge burden off your shoulders okay and um potentially you can find a new job maybe this is your job right now some of you some people it is their job i told you their career what is this yeah i feel like they're gonna try and guilt trip you into it uh, they're rude. There might be really pa passive aggressive little pokes in communication. So I've, I've already experienced that too. And I know other people that have where, um, <clears throat> here's an example. They want you to take care of the nursery and the children for free. So come to church and be the fucking babysitter. And then when you agree to, because they always will get you, they'll send around their sign up sheets and all this shit. And so, <laughs> it's like close your door and just say no so <clears throat> i know that the, there is like this pastor wife lady if someone signed up that they would come in every other sunday and they would do nursery care 
or something like that. And then um, the pastor wife or whoever's in charge, the group leader that actually it's their career and they live basically at the church. Um, then they're rude and snotty and say, well, you have to do this. You, they're very bossy. No, guess what? I don't have to do shit. That's what you say. Do it yourself, B. Do it yourself. And if you think that, because they're not nice, I'm just telling you, they're bossy, they're emperor empress. They're, they're narcissistic, so they do the love bombing, and then as soon as you question it or say no, they also will smear campaign you. So that's when you gotta learn how to not give a fuck. People will figure it out on their own. So I also see move towards something that gives you good happiness and nostalgia, right? Uh, someone from your childhood or just what you used to do as a child. Um, maybe they're, this helps, will help you get out of any type of boredom. So thinking back about things as a, that you, you enjoyed doing as a child, whatever it was, uh, racing, I don't know why I got racing, you know, car models, uh, you know what I mean? Making those little cars up or artsy stuff, uh, swinging on the swing set, I don't know, jump roping, uh, riding your bike, rollerblading, art, whatever it was that you just really enjoyed as a child, there's something there for you that will help getting out of any type of regret or boredom. Yeah, it's something you love. And there's romance there. There is romance there too. Someone from your childhood or someone you've known for a long time. There's love. There's actually romance and love. It's like a, a little bit of a, a fifth house energy. So Leo energy, but you know what I mean? Just fifth house is fun, childhood, nostalgia, a little romance, a little flirtation, but I'm seeing it being good. Hmm. Someone that you can commit to. And I think they actually want commitment. Hmm. They, there might be, someone could propose. What? No way. This will be in crazy. 416 and 616. 64 and 46. There's some Gemini, some Aries energy. Hmm. The star. There's hope and healing. A little Taurus energy. Yeah, this isn't about ego. Someone maybe, I feel like someone kind of feels like they were unvictorious in the past or they kind of feel about their home. I feel like they feel like they've lost a home. 64 coming through again. 64. So I don't know if someone is 64 right now or 64 is, or 46, 46 even. Um, it's Gemini Aries energy. I feel like someone feels like they've lost a home. Like it's like, it's like gotta let go of the ego and choose your battles. <clears throat> Someone might have like had to, they could be uh, in debt over a house. I also see the emperor, is the emperor here? Let me see. It's the four, the emperor, yeah. So yeah, masculine energy, a husband, a boss, a father figure. He, they're actually a leader. Yeah, and they want commitment. And, uh, oh, but this high priestess is a little, that person is kind of wanting to be single. Or they th they're telling someone, someone just wants to be single and go out and party and have fun. Uh, and that they're immature, 9-2 and 2-9. Um, and that they're going to lose a whole bunch of money or they're telling, I see there's a, this churchy lady or spiritual lady who acts all that way and is telling people a bunch of bullshit about why someone is leaving them or no longer wants to be part of their stuff. 44, 6, 4, 4, 6. Yeah. And 519. So almost this happiness. 
Two of Wands. There's a Leo too, potentially. Wants this happiness. Taking action. <gasps> and there's some wanting things to be balanced. This person is balanced in their mind. Uh, they're, they balance spirituality. They balance the work at life, play life, not overindulging. They know how to balance the checkbook. Uh, they, don't, they know how to balance friend time and alone time. Yeah, they're, they're taking action towards you. At this 21, 221, the world. Yeah, a whole new world, a whole new chapter. I feel like they're cha changing direction and coming towards you. Maybe there's anxiety about it sleepless nights yeah this queen of wands is having anxiety because she is trying her best to like flaunt her shit or control the situation and get attention uh this other queen of wands she in reverse yeah she's stuck she's gonna say i need you they're always a damsel in distress they can't move on like they're still holding on to the thoughts yeah they're all stuck in their mind and there there was there's gaslighting there there's playing a victim there's passive aggressive pokes yeah and someone does not want a reunion with this person they don't want to reconcile with this person that person is losing like a, a legacy they could lose their business they could lose their oh it's actually about money it's like if you're with this person and you leave them um, and you have finances, you have money, you have a legacy, you have business together. Uh, they know that they get cut out of that. Like they no longer get all this luxury. They're going to lose it all. And they're going to try and manipulate you and use you with children. Okay. And the children will understand that this person is very deceptive in their communication you got Queen of Swords in reverse. They're a liar, manipulator, um, and they're juggling. They make up stuff. They're a manipulator. Okay. King of Cups is up right now, being very loving, compassionate. There is depression and sadness. Oh, yeah. They're, they're understanding that this is sad. And just wanting to get clarity. I feel like someone, that if someone leaving... Yeah, and making this final judgment call. Someone even could have, like I said, seen this judgment is showing that someone's not getting a second chance. Someone's not having, they're not changing. It's like cutting someone out, yeah. King of Swords even thinking things through logically now. That's you and getting clarity. No more looking at your options of what to do. Someone is no longer seeing someone as an option. I, I'm seeing the Virgo there too. 713, Cancer sign though too. Oh my gosh, yeah. Someone's going to get what they were hoping for, what they've been wishing for. Oh my gosh. I wish I could show you all these. <coughs> I'm seeing the star now. You're a star. 917. Ooh. Actually, someone, it's in reverse. So I do see someone not feeling hopeful. A queen of cups in reverse. So that person could be emotionally manipulating, heavy drinking, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer person. Um, feeling hopeless, like things cannot be healed. Okay, I'm gonna move on. That was a lot going on there. Okay, 113. I know you can't even see, <laughs> uh, but it's about what I'm saying, right? All right, I'm gonna ask about the waiter. Okay, waiter, uh, hopefully getting, whoa, nine, six, and six, nine. So I'm seeing someone from your past, childhood nostalgia, someone you've known for a long time, getting what your wish is fulfilled. Okay, waiter. Queen of coins in reverse. Mm. Okay. This waiter or waitress. Okay, I'm going to give it a good shuffle. I'm just going to get a few more messages of this. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to do the fourth video uh, with all your oracle cards in the next one. Okay, so we're just getting into the nitty gritty. All right, number two, number three, two, three. <laughs> That's your tarot, right? For different Aquarian people, right? I just read the cards. All right, I'm going to give it another shuffle. All right, waiter. What's up with the waiter? Uh, this one by the driver. Someone driving something. It's more Virgo energy. Imagine that. 
I'm seeing someone taking off and leaving. Um, I'm seeing maybe even going out to eat and you're going to meet this waiter or you have to leave. You could be a Virgo. One nine. Nine one. I'm seeing her. I, I don't know why I called it a her. Uh, it could be they're unhappy so someone's leaving um and you have queen of pentacles in reverse there so it totally could be that's why it's a her it could be a virgo person that is um leaving they're taking off they're unhappy um they don't want to stay home they don't they they have a sense of needing to be loved i don't know how to explain uh they don't like being alone you know what I mean? They don't like having to sit with their own thoughts and emotions. Um, <clears throat> they could have a Leo Virgo. They're kind of an attention whore and they're greedy. And they want to complain to people. And they want people to give to them. Uh, she's like moving towards a king. Uh, uh, she's moving towards someone she sees as stable financially. Okay. I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah, she's done waiting. She doesn't want to wait anymore. Okay. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing. Yeah, now I'm seeing that she's kind of a player energy. She's a, She wants to play around, run around. Maybe she's young. Yeah, she's just impatient too. There's Queen of Cups. And she's an emotional manipulator. She's going in to say, woe is me. And... Uh, she kind of the damsel in distress type person who plays a victim all the time. She could kind of be a covert narcissist with that. That's what I see. All right, let's move on. This king looks pretty good, right? The king seem to be up on the up and up handling business. So you all maybe that are dealing with a masculine earth energy or someone who knows he's in king energy, uh, knows how to create a beautiful life. And knows that it's not just about him. It's about his community. Who he's in charge with. You know. Uh, if, for the good for all. There's a lot of an Aquarian energy with that. You know. For the highest good of all. Not just me, 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 me. Uh, whereas the, that feminine energy was all me, 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 me. What about me? What about me? What about me? Ugh. Wait, what about me? Do you know what happened to me? Oh my gosh, look at me, look at me. There's so much like Leo energy. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, okay, King. Oh, this went by the driver, it flipped underneath it. Some truth, that was truth. What I just said was truth. How beautiful is this? Someone's getting this clarity, truth, honesty. You had two of swords in reverse, which to me is also ace of swords, upright. So no longer feeling pushed and pulled between two directions. King of coins, that's the truth. Nine one, one nine, maybe they're Capricorn. Okay, maybe they're another Virgo. Okay, uh, clarity. The hidden truth. And when I get to that, that's gonna be in, in number four, okay? I'm gonna ask for all of these. And I, I just said it however, right? Uh, let's get one for the driver. I think, I see like this person could even live in, uh, not have a home um <clears throat> yeah they might have got kicked out and someone needs help they don't it's not their house maybe uh, you, they're asking to be picked up from an apartment I, I mean they don't own a home maybe they are homeless i don't know because you got four of wands in reverse and two of swords right they don't even know where to go the person don't know where to go they could live in their car um, yeah, and there's anxiety and fear. Nine four. Virgos. Four nine. Twelve. I also see nine six and six two. Sixty two. They could ninety four. They could be born in ninety four. They could be forty nine years old. Born in sixty nine. Ninety two even. Huh. I'm seeing up all night. Like they. And maybe even someone drives all night long and they're too tired. Uh, there's anxiety and fear because they have no home. They don't know where to go. Huh. Wow. Driver. 
Maybe it's someone you drive around all the time or they drive around all the time. Uh, I'm going to see what else. Yeah, up all night, anxiety, fear. They can't pay their debt. They're in debt. There's favoritism. They overindulge or they want more for themselves. Four, nine. They could be an Aries too. Nine, four, Virgo. One, four, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. I'm seeing someone needs to, um, they need to rest. Oh, but they don't. They don't have the finances to pay their debt, to pay their bills, to pay medical bills. Hmm. But that's not your fault. Right? That's the other thing. <clears throat> it's not your karmic debt. If you want to help that person, that's fine. But, you know, there's the whole saying, you can give a man a fish and feed him for a night, right? Or you can teach them how to fish and feed them for a lifetime. That's the kind of thing. This person, maybe that's why they're unbalanced in their thinking. They don't think things through clearly. Uh, they stay up all night. Um, driving. They just drive around. So someone wants things to be fair and balanced with the finances and the give and take and the they could be like trust try like living off you. They don't pitch in for gas. Uh, they don't pay for the car. Um, yeah, they they uh, yeah. You actually have the child again. They have a child. They use that to maybe their child manipulates or not manipulates, but they they use their child to manipulate and get. Have you ever seen the women out there with their kids all over saying? I don't have any. Please donate. Please give food. I got a story for you. I'm getting some relevance to this. One day, I'm like at the grocery store or something. Oh, oh, well, we went into, we were, oh, it was walking past. It was like uh, a weed dispensary. Okay. Medical marijuana, whatever, where it's legal, a dispensary um, or a liquor store even, right? Gonna go get some drinks, whatever. And there's this lady younger i don't know she got like three kids sitting there cutest little kids ever cutest is like yeah uh and the kids are happy and everything like and she's like oh i don't have any money to feed my kids dinner and i'm seeing people giving their kids bananas and popsicles and do things and and it really gets to your heartstrings um anyways then she goes she asked if we saw this person in the store and I, I can't remember. I think it was, I've had it in both scenarios where asking if we saw her husband or her boyfriend or whoever, she describes him inside either this weed dispensary or liquor store or something like that. It's definitely not in the grocery store buying freaking groceries, but it's right next to it. Right. And, um, <laughs> Anyways, and say, and then, and then proceed, you know, saying how they don't have enough money, you know, and they, they're watching what kind of car or vehicle you're driving. And then they try and, uh, go after you. Well, guess what? So her, so the, the daddy of these children is going and buying alcohol and weed and can't buy groceries for his children. So why is that my fucking problem? You know, and then when I was like, I'm sorry, I don't have any cash on me. And she, she does this whole, God bless you in a really vindictive, bitchy way, right? She's like career. So this is someone manipulating and using her children. You know, maybe you shouldn't be buying alcohol or weed. Maybe you should feed your children first. Why? You know, anyways, that's the type of shit I saw. That's what I'm talking about. This person, <clears throat> they they actually, they can't rest. They have nowhere to sleep. They can't do the healing. They can't, you know what I mean? They're up all night. Maybe up all night. Sleep all day. But they can't actually, they can't pay for their medical bills. They don't have a place to sleep. And it isn't because they don't have. It's because they make poor choices with what they do, with what they have, okay? Okay, nine, four, six, four. Okay, then I see, once again, there is a child mimicking the same thing. They even prompt the child what to say, right? Um, yeah, you got Virgo there again. 
Someone gets caught. They get stuck. Ah, the full moon. The true emotions come out. So this is even more about that moon energy. So some of you, it could be moon Aquariuses or at that full moon in your sign is when you're really going to see this truth come out about this person. 413, they could be an Aries even. 6-4, Gemini, 9-4. But those could be ages even. And then the moon in reverse. So that's even that Pisces Cancer energy, but the emotions of it. I'm just saying it's when that happens. Because you had the moon all by the driver. That leaves someone feeling really stuck in your head. Push between two because your heart, your head and your heart, one thing wants to help these people out. You feel like it's right. But you see clearly that they are manipulators. And uh, they're going to be there again. Like, you know what I mean? Poor choices. It's not, you know what I mean? Huh. 213, 218. Oh, I'm feeling hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Yeah, and I'm seeing someone being very impatient. They're unwilling to wait. They're fools. They're a runaround. There's a lot of fire energy with them, too. They could be Aries. But they run around. They're a player. They probably, this person probably has lots of <clears throat> baby daddies or mama babies. I don't know. How does that work? You know what I mean? They're, they have a lot of children. Um, but it's through promiscuous, uncommitted, right? And I, there's nothing, I mean, there is things that are wrong with that, but I'm just saying, I don't, I've seen people who really do know how to go to work, take care of single parents who have, you know, they get manipulated. Men and women both are manipulating wh whores, <laughs> And then they don't want to actually help and take care of the children they create. And I've seen in both dynamics, single parents working their asses off. My mom did. Um, she, you know, I was, yeah. And, and I, my sis, all my siblings are from different, uh, sisters or what am I saying? Sisters, <laughs> different. You know, I have a different, they have different dads or different moms. Okay. So, wow. I'm saying, yeah, I feel like there could be a young Leo person or a child. Um, as I look at this Knight of Cups. And very romantic, very young energy though. Uh, Casanova type stuff always like thinking someone's an option i see someone coming in quickly though this king of pentacles has got clarity on this they're no lo longer like looking at options they see clearly uh, what this manipulation is of these younger people yeah you even star card all right guys that's it wow um <clears throat> that was quite a bit of information take it all as it resonates right for your month of august uh, check the description box. I will be doing all the fun. So to me, when we get to the Oracle, this was the nitty gritty of it, right? The Oracles um, are uplifting, giving guidance. I have fun stuff. Look, look forward to that. The Time Traveler Oracle, I, the messages of the Cosmic Oracle cards, Divine Feathers, Crystals, um, the Hidden Truth Oracle as well. I am going to go through for the Aquarius and all the way from Aries to Pisces and get messages, the hidden truth. Uh, and I'm seeing, especially the king energy, really wanting this truth and clarity on these things. And for fun, also, I'm gonna get some of the art oracles, all right? All right, thanks so much, Aquarius. Bye-bye.